It's been a while, but we're backing at it again. Here's another edition of Marley Minute. Marley Minute, Marley Minute. I don't have a budget, but at least I got a press pass. Marley Minute, Marley Minute! Now, since it's been so long, before I get to the game, let's update you on some stuff that's been happening with the Marlies and the rest of the AHL. After a slow start, Yuri Tulusi's season has really taken off, registering 42 points in 44 games and setting a Marley's franchise record by registering five goals in the same game. As I mentioned in my lease videos, the Albany River Rats, that's the affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes, their team bus got into a bad accident this week, but thankfully none of the players have life-threatening injuries. And with regards to the big scandal happening in Montreal, Sergei Kostitsin, one of those accused, is now on the Hamilton Bulldogs, who the Marlies played on Friday. Now, if you're wondering if I got a hold of Sergei Kostitsin, I did not. But if you've seen the interviews some of the more mainstream media outlets have had with him, you'll know I wouldn't have got much anyway. So, Sergey, I was wondering... You don't have to answer that. But let's get to the actual game, shall we? The Marlies lost 4-3 to to the Hamilton Bulldogs in one of those good old-fashioned four-pointers. Marlies could have pulled within three of the Bulldogs. Instead, they're down seven. And after holding a 3-2 lead for a fair chunk of the third, the Bulldogs battled back to tie it, and then, with just a few minutes remaining, got the go-ahead goal. And even when the Marlies pulled their goaltender, the Bulldogs shut them down completely. This is a Marlies team that scored 32 goals in the previous five games. That's over six goals a game for those of you keeping count. You could tell the Marlies weren't happy with this one at all, and when the media were led into the locker room, dead silence. In the loss, picking up his first goal of the season for the Leafs or Marlies was Ryan Hallweg, and he talked about what went wrong this game. I think we just, you know, we got away from from uh, keeping pucks on the walls and kind of turned some pucks over at crucial times, and they capitalized. And we know that they're a chopping team, and they're a team that waits, uh, you know, for for mistakes like that so they can jump on them. And uh, you know, we made a few too many tonight, and we just gotta, you know, correct that and go into tomorrow's game and be ready to go. After that, I asked Ryan about the difference between the NHL and the AHL since he has played in both this season. I, I think it's an opportunity for me to, you know, be able to hold on to the puck a little more and um, get my confidence back and make plays and, and um, it's something I'm capable of doing and um, you know I was that kind of player in junior and you know you sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to stay with the big team but you know down here I can uh, I can refine my game a little bit and retune it and um, you know hopefully that, that'll be enough. Coming off a of Marley's franchise record five goals in a game, Yuri Tolusti wasn't exactly happy with the way he was treated in this one. I like uh, I like physical games, so uh, it's, it, it was great. But you know, uh, uh, Rafi could call something, and uh, he didn't. Uh, I, I think everything wasn't wasn't clean. So you know, uh, we we can we can say right now uh, we cannot say right now it was Rafi's fault. It was our fault. But you know, uh, be ready for next game. Uh, it's coming tomorrow night, and. Uh, uh, it's going to be huge for us, too. Marley's head coach, Greg Gilbert, didn't exactly see the officiating the same way Toulouse did. However, there was one incident that stuck out in his mind. Uh, guys get hauled down on breakaways, and there's no penalty, and then guys get picked up off their feet with two hands and thrown on their back, and there's no penalty. And you know, I, I couldn't understand some of the non-calls out there tonight, to be quite honest with you. And lastly, Marley's points leader, Tim Stapleton, has 52 points in 49 games so far to lead his team in that category. I wanted to ask him some questions about the Marlies fans, but unfortunately he left early. I was going to ask him what kind of an effect the Toronto fans have on a game, because the Marlies attendance, not exactly up to snuff with the rest of the AHL. So instead, I will pose a question to you. Why do you go to Marlies games, and if you don't, why don't you? That's it for Marley Minute. I'll see you guys next time.